can I get diabetes during pregnancy? Yes, it is possible for a woman to get diabetes during pregnancy. So this condition is called gestational diabetes and it affects about 2 to 10 percent of the population. But in Indian women, there is a slightly higher risk. They are affected in about uh, 10 to 15 percent of the women. In India, we see gestational diabetes. It occurs when a woman's body cannot produce enough insulin to regulate her blood sugars during pregnancy. But the good news is that gestational diabetes can usually be managed through diet, exercise and medication if necessary. And most of the women who develop gestational diabetes are able to manage their blood sugar levels and have a healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby. So it is very important to work closely with your practitioner to manage gestational diabetes and ensure the best possible outcome for the mother and the baby. Exact cause is not yet known, but there are a huge number of factors that are playing a role. The hormonal factors, the genetic factors, and the lifestyle factors. As we have already uh, discussed during pregnancy, the placenta produces hormones which interferes with the body's ability to use insulin properly. So the mother's body won't be able to use insulin to regulate her blood sugars and this causes gestational diabetes. But the risk increases in certain conditions if there is a family history of diabetes or if you are about 25 years of age and if you are having PCOS or obesity or if you are having gestational diabetes in the prior pregnancy or if you are having any hypertension or medications which can cause diabetes, then you will be at a much higher risk than the other population. So you need to be very vigilant and you need to get checked with your practitioner once you have been diagnosed with gestational diabetes or you have to check regularly once you are pregnant if you are having all these risk factors. Definitely, it increases your chance of having gestational diabetes once you cross 25 years but the risk increases even more once you cross 35 years. There are also many factors which come into play. As you age, the body might not produce enough insulin and your insulin resistance increases and this also will have an effect on the pregnancy. Generally, women who present with gestational diabetes do not have any symptoms. That is why it is more important to be vigilant and you need to check yourself once you are pregnant and then once at 24 to 28 weeks if it is negative in these two scenarios then you have to check again at 32 to 34 weeks because it definitely affects the baby it definitely affects the pregnancy outcomes but it do not have any symptoms but in some patients they might present with excessive thirst excessive urination nausea dizziness weight loss also but this can be confused because even in normal pregnancy they can have such symptoms gestational diabetes can affect the baby in a number of ways when a woman has gestational diabetes her glucose are higher than normal which can affect the baby's growth and development most commonly what we see is that the baby's weight goes up and the babies usually are more than 4 kgs, which will be difficult for the mother to deliver and there can be injuries during birth. And also the, pa the babies who are born to mothers with diabetes can have low sugars after delivery. And there is risk of them developing type 2 diabetes in the future. And along with this, babies also have difficulty in breathing. They can also have uh, cardiac abnormalities and they can also have some skeletal disorders also not every woman can have diabetes during pregnancy but when compared to the other population indian women are at a much higher risk and they can have diabetes in about 10 to 20 percent if you have a family history of diabetes in a first degree relative or if you are about 25 years or if you are having PCOS or if you are overweight or obese prior to pregnancy or if you are having a diabetes during before pregnancy or in your previous uh, pregnancy if you are diagnosed with 
uh, diabetes yes then you are at a higher risk and you, you should definitely get it checked regularly it is temporary in 90% of the cases as soon as the placenta is removed from the body so the placental hormones will come down and within hours to maximum within days majority of the pregnant ladies sugars will come down to normal but in some cases like 30 to 50% of the cases they can have diabetes that is type 2 diabetes which we see in the normal population they can have type 2 diabetes at a later stage maybe after one year or maybe after three years so for this we need to check blood sugars of women who have gestational diabetes at least yearly once or maximum of every three years we need to check them if they are having diabetes most often 90% will not have diabetes after pregnancy but it can come again first important thing is that we need to have a very healthy lifestyle prior to even prior to pregnancy not just during the pregnancy alone so there is a prenatal counseling that we need to be uh, which needs to be done so the patients who are overweight or obese so if they are planning to get pregnant it is advisable to lose the weight before pregnancy and then start uh, conceiving and you need to follow physical activity every week minimum of 30 minutes per day and you need to follow a healthy diet which consists of less amount of carbohydrates and more of proteins and fats and you need to have less stress more sleep all these factors play an important role and when you are already at risk of having uh, gestational diabetes like we have already discussed you need to be even more vigilant with this majority of the women will be able to control their sugars with diet and physical activity alone because this is the most important aspect in treating a in, the, in treating a pregnant woman with diabetes so we usually tell our patients to take six meals instead of three meals which are heavy so we usually we ask them to decrease the breakfast because insulin resistance is maximum at 10 to 11 am so if you take the whole consumption of food to be as 100% we usually advise breakfast calories to be around 10% and then lunch can be 30% calories and dinner can be 30% of calories and the rest of the calories should come from snacks which can be taken thrice a day but this also depends from person to person and if a pregnant woman is obese prior to pregnancy based on their bmi based on their height and weight we give them uh, the corresponding caloric intake and they can take it accordingly but usually normal bmi women can take six meals per day three meals and three snacks the second part after diet comes with the physical activity physical activity usually is if it is if it is not advised it's okay but if your gynecologist tells that you can do physical activity yes it is better to do it to do physical activity and we recommend at least 10 to 20 minutes of walking after each meal so that your postprandial glucose will not be that high and then comes the if it is not getting controlled with these measures then comes the uh, medication part which is usually uh, dealt by your doctors there are usually very few medications that can be used so most often if you are not getting controlled with oral medications the doctors usually keep you on insulin pregnant women should be cautious about what they eat and pregnant women with diabetes should definitely cut down their simple sugars or uh, simple carbohydrates because they spike the sugar levels very easily and not just the diabetic women but all of the pregnant women should ideally consume less of this refined processed refined foods which contain added sugars and they need to have a well balanced diet which contains around 35 to 40% of carbohydrates 20% of protein and the remaining fats 